we're going to do quick and easy pot stickers. So let's get started because it's two o'clock and I'm, I'm hungry. So the dough for these pot stickers is really basic. It's really only three ingredients and they are about a cup of flour. And I'm using all-purpose flour and about a half a teaspoon of salt and some boiling water. And we'll use, I'm going to pour about a third of a cup of boiling water. I want some for later. So why boiling water? What happens is I'm going to use the boiling water to make the dough and the heat from the boiling water actually forms the dough faster. It actually speeds up the, uh, the process for making the gluten. So we want to be careful um, as in most cases in using the processor, the texture that we're looking for is going to be uncooked couscous. So we'll get that going. And we'll pour just a little bit in to start. Give that a chance to, to work in. So I want to be careful about adding too much, otherwise I'm going to have to add more flour. If it forms a ball, then I've added too much. And I can see that it's forming small pellets. I reach in, what I want to be able to do is I want to be able to squeeze that dough and have it stay together. See it's cracking a little bit, so I'm just going to put in maybe a teaspoon more of this. Let me just scrape this off the edges. So if you had someone who is a, a vegan, this would be a great dough because there's no egg in it. I'm going to put in just a touch. If I put in too much and it forms a ball, then I'll have to add more flour. But I think I'm good. out. It's nice and warm. It's a very soft dough. So I'm going to use to roll out my dough, but before I do that, I'm going to make the filling. Our filling today for our stickers is going to be a mixture of what we would call the Chinese flavor base. So the Chinese flavor base is what gives Chinese food its unique taste and uh, it consists of garlic, scallions, and ginger. So if you have something that has 
garlic, ginger, and scallions, you can be pretty much guaranteed that it's Chinese in origin. And um, you could just chop that all together, but I have this cool little machine here. It just chops that all together. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to add some more ingredients, my protein. And this is going to be equal parts. This is about a quarter pound of ground chicken. And an equal amount of shrimp. And we'll process that together. Oof. So you can see that that's all processed together, and that's the filling. What I'll do now is I am going to roll out some dough for our pot stickers. So while I'm doing that, tell you the story of how pot stickers were invented. So back a few dynasties ago, there was this dynasty called the Song Dynasty. And the emperor at that time really liked his dumplings. And he had a special cook that made the dumplings every day. And the emperor would show up just before mealtime and expect that his dumplings would be done. And in those days, dumplings were cooked by boiling. So they were boiled dumplings. So this particular cook was a very good cook, but he had a weakness, and that weakness was he liked to talk to the ladies of the court. And one day while he was talking to the ladies of the court while he was making dumplings, he smelled something burning, and he realized that the water in the pot had evaporated and the dumplings were burning. And the emperor was coming down the, down the hall and he panicked. So what he did was he quickly threw some water into the pot and covered the dumplings hoping that they would steam. Which fortunately they did, but the bottoms of the, of the dumplings had been charred. So they, so being and desperate, the cook, told the emperor that he invented a new type of dumpling for the emperor. And because they were stuck to the pot, he called them pot stickers. And the emperor tried one, and he hesitated, and then he tried another one, and the dumplings became his new favorite snack. So that's the story of how pot stickers were invented and how they saved the life of the cook that invented them. So here's our wrappers and here's our fillings. And what we'll do is think of a clock and we'll go with a pleat at 12 o'clock. We'll do a pleat at one o'clock, 
and we'll do a pleat at 11 o'clock. And as you can see, when we make those pleats, it basically creates a little pocket. Just like that. We'll do that again. 12 o'clock, squeeze. You want to give these a pretty good squeeze. 1 o'clock and 11 o'clock. We'll bring 6 o'clock up. Squeeze those together. And again, of course, the old ladies in the restaurant, they're, they're making these at breakneck speed. Not as slow as, as I'm doing it. Go. Squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Six o'clock up. There we go. And one more. Complete. Complete. So let's head over to the pot, or in this case, the pan. And now we'll kind of simulate what happened with the cook. So we're heating up the pot. And what we'll do is we're going to put a little bit of oil couple of tablespoons of oil. We want to cover the bottom of the pot. There we go. It's nice and hot. And what we'll do is we'll place our dumplings right in there. You see that there it's cooking up. So if you don't want to use the uh, chicken and the shrimp, uh, you could put other ingredients. Pork is really good, ground pork, beef. And if you're a vegetarian, you could certainly just cut up some um, tofu and cabbage, carrots, other vegetables. So what we want to do is we're going to look at the bottom here and you can see how it's turning brown frying up a little bit Ooh, let's try not to burn ourselves so what we'll do now is now that they're browned up whoop <laughs> sorry about that Pay no attention to that. So what we're going to do is we're going to put water in. It's going to sizzle. That was quite a sizzle. There we go. So these are steaming. <laughs> as long as the house doesn't burn down, we'll be okay. There we 
ago, the fan caught up with us. That was kind of exciting. So now that you've calmed down, well, these are steaming. You want to let these steam for a couple minutes. So what we'll do is we're going to make a dip. And I'm going to use hot sesame oil. So just a, just a touch of that. A couple teaspoons of soy sauce. And some balsamic blades. Kind of a nice sweet vinegar. These have been cooking for a couple minutes, and we know they've been hot since the alarm went off. There you go. And I'll shut this off. No. No? All right. Joan says not to. So let's let's try these. Although these are kind of hot. Let me take them out first. So I just want to show you. So they're steamed on the top. And on the bottom, you can see they're nice and crispy. And slippery. There, all right, I can hear again. All right, so there you have it. Some pot stickers. We almost lost our heads, but we're okay. So let me just try this. Oh my God. Hmm. A little hot, but really tasty and not too smoky. Thanks for joining us. That was exciting. We'll see you next time.